Hi, I'm Sally Wentworth. I'm uh, coming to you from IETF Vancouver in um, July of 2012. And I'm sitting here with Albert, um, who is one of our IETF fellows. And we just wanted to, to introduce Albert to you and get his impressions of, of his uh, time here at the IETF um, uh, so far. So Albert, maybe you just tell us a little bit about yourself, where you come from, and your, and your background. Yes, I am Albert Kamga. I, I am from Cameroon. I work for the Ministry of Post and Telecommunication. That is the administration in charge of uh, policy making and regulation of ICT sector in Cameroon. Uh, I am telecommunication engineer. That is my, my background. And this is your first IETF meeting. Um, what has been your experience so far? Yes, exactly. I am really impressed by what is uh, going on at uh, IETF, the way uh, th uh, decisions are taken and, uh, and so on. Uh, for the first time, I can say that I am really conscious of that. I am working as an individual and, uh, and not uh, for, for, a, for a company or for an administration. So that's the way uh, I see things uh, being done in IETF, and uh, every everyone, no matter where, where, from where you are, you are an individual, and your voice can count in the decision making uh, within this uh, organization. And that is a really, really, uh, uh, I can say, sh uh, I, it is it is a, a kind of shock, but a positive shock uh, on my person. Oh, that's very good. What um, are th are there particular areas of interest that you've been you've been attending some of the working groups? Are there particular areas of interest that you've been following while you're here? Yes, particularly interested in uh, IPv6, mm -hmm. and uh, because it is, uh, I think that in in our countries. Uh, something must be done to try to speed the transition from IPv4 to IPv6 and um, I, it is very important to know that uh, in just some two or three years we will, uh, we will uh, be totally in IPv6 and uh, if nothing is done in our country that will be a catastrophe. What do you think um, you will take home from this experience? What do you? Th what are the lessons that you will have learned um, after this week? Uh, internet today is everywhere, and um, the first thing I will bring back to to my country, to my colleagues, is uh, I have been in touch with the with where the decision is taken concerning the internet and um, uh, from that now I know that I can uh, if I need a particular information about uh, a job brief, about Atoka, those are things very important to my country because uh, we sometimes have to manage uh, some emergency situations and so on and uh, because we are not, uh, there, there, there is not a lot of awareness concerning uh, how uh, those emergency uh, situations can be carried out, can be solved. Uh, from now, what I am saying is that it will be possible to not only to include those possibilities in the, in the different acts or different laws that will be issued by the parliament or by the government, but uh, knowing all, the, all that, all that uh, information is very important and uh, I will draw the attention of my colleagues on on the different issues being solved within the IETF and uh, related association and uh, that is uh, very important for policy makers in Cameroon for regulation because I told you that uh, my administration is in charge of that sector and uh, we must do all what we can do to be part of the global world. Well, excellent. I just want to say on behalf of the Internet Society, we are, we are thrilled that you um, have joined us here in Vancouver. We hope this is 
only the uh, not the only time we see you. We hope that you come back in the future. I think you have um, a significant contribution to make to the community.